This video is sponsored by Clip Flip. You can take a look at their website at www.clipflip.com. Hey guys, today we're doing a review of the Argos case for the iPad 2 by SGP. Now the Argos case is made out of genuine leather which definitely makes the price a little more expensive at $97.99. So a $98 uh, iPad 2 case is what I have here. Now I'm going to be showing you uh, what comes included in the package and then I'll get on with the review of the Argos case. Now you, uh, here is the case itself. You will not be getting many things in the case but I'll just show you what you'll be getting. The first thing is an instruction guide. Just uh, the stands that it makes, the different features of the case, and then just a foam inner just to keep it protected while shipping. Now here is the Argos case. Here's the front and it is genuine leather as you can see. Uh, it does say it as well. Now it says Argos right here. This is the uh, name of the case. Now here's the inner lining of the case. It does have the SGP logo going all around the sides and the whole inside right here. Now uh, let me put my iPad 2 in the case and I'll show you what it looks like. Now putting it in is very easy, you simply just put it into the sides, it doesn't matter which sides you choose, and then just push it down on the two side, on the two corners, and it will be locked into place as you can see. Now um, it does have two different stands. Usually stands only usually cases like this only have one stand, like you just decide what side, uh, what size or um, really how you want it to stand but you'll be getting two different ones one here and one here depending on what you'll be doing so let me just show you uh, some of the features and then I'll show you the stand now um, here is one issue that I found pretty uh, easily and that is that you will have to kind of pull up and then lock it on if you want to close the case see it doesn't it doesn't naturally close on itself see it doesn't naturally kind of close you will have to kind of lift it up and then close it and then you're good to go. Now when you do lift it, it does have the on and off feature just like the iPad smart cover, the iPad 2 smart cover. It does have that feature which is always nice to see in cases not made by Apple itself. Now if you would like to access the stand, all you have to do, let me just turn my iPad 2 off, save the battery. So if you would like to access the stand, what you do is you take your iPad, you kind of flip it this way and then depending on if you want to type or watch a movie, I'll first show you typing. So if you want to type, you simply just take this tab, pull it out, and then there you go. You can start writing just like that. And if you are watching a movie, you want to watch a movie, you simply pull out the bigger tab, and then you can watch the movie. Now, if you are watching a movie or doing whatever, it kind of just lays on it right here. See, here's the iPad, ver here's the iPad itself, and here's the stand. So it kind of lays on the back of the... Uh, case making it a little flimsy and pretty easy to kind of like fall so you do have to kind of worry if it is going to uh, fall off but um, overall I do think it's a pretty cool case very protective uh, before I end the review let me just show you the cutouts uh, let me just show you what the cutouts look like so here is the 30 pin dock connector you have easy access to all your ports now here is a little metal grating right here and this will actually um, uh, this is the first case I've actually ever seen that has a metal grating for your speaker grill. So the speaker grill will, uh, your speakers will not be affected and they will also be protected. They also be protected, which is always nice to see. Now, uh, on this side, you'll have the volume up and down rockers along with your mute and unmute switch and you have easy access to those as well. Now here is your camera cutout and it is a perfect, perfectly sized camera cutout. Very nicely sized. Here's your volume. Uh, I mean, sorry, your power on and off switch, very easy to access. And here is your um, 3.5 millimeter jack uh, head headphone jack as well, very easy to access. Now, because it is genuine leather, as I said before, the price is $97.99, which is definitely a premium uh, compared to a lot of other cases. So if you are willing to spend about $100 on this iPad 2 case, by all means, go for it. I do think it is very cool. Uh, the flaws... The case, it, and the flaw, the flaws in the case itself is the stand, and that's really it. Okay, the price is definitely higher than the average. So if you are willing to spend that, definitely recommend this case. I will be giving a four and a half out of five. Very, very nice case. One more thing before I do 
um, and the review that I noticed was that it does stain very easily and that's what goes on with leather. Leather stains very easily depending on what you're doing. Now um, right here as you can kind of see this little little darker spot right there I was washing my hands um, I thought I dried them perfectly went to use my iPad too put my thumb right there and it left a mark now it does go away over some time but it will it has been there for a few days which is definitely kind of a strange thing because it does stain of uh, leather so you will have to kind of make sure that your hands are clean because it will stain very easily but as I said very nice case definitely recommend it um, I would I would I will leave the link in the description below as if you would like to uh, purchase this this case was sent out to me from craytouch.com and they are a reseller for SGP they sell SGP products but they are a reseller so I would like to thank them for selling this product out for review today alright guys that's it thanks for watching bye